Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm not going to be covering a particular series on the channel as such. However, I am going to be covering a few topics that I've spoken about here before. I make paranormal content and anything surrounding that sort of niche. So if you do enjoy those style of videos, then please feel free to subscribe to the channel. I like to think a lot of people would enjoy my content that I create on here. However, today we are talking about updates from certain channels I've covered before and also a few features that I've had on particular pages on TikTok and YouTube. So let's get into today's video and enlighten you on what's been going on. Okay, everyone, we have the first channel I'm going to be talking about, user 01726472721. Cover this in my last video. Now, this is possibly the most interesting update of the whole video just because my channel is now involved in this TikTok. I am convinced. This is an interesting one. You need to watch this, guys. So I had a notification come through on my channel from a person called Hypocritical, and that comment said, dude, that TikTok made another video with your channel's name. So as I naturally would, I went straight over to the channel to check it out to see what the updates were, only to find. Sit back and check this one out, guys. I found this mall that I used to hang out a lot before all this mess happened. It's kind of sad seeing it like this. Didn't realize how creepy this place can be thought I could find some food or water, but they weren't any store that had them. Thought I found an interesting place, but it was just the restroom hallway. As I spend more time inside this place, it got creepier and creepier. So I decided to put- So the code in the first video of the series that I haven't caught up on translates to hypocritical Salvador. Now, now I don't want to go overboard with this theory because it may not be true, but things just aren't adding up for me. The comment, now correct me if I'm wrong if you're watching this hypocritical, the comment on my notifications was from a channel name called hypocritical. So was that the admin behind this TikTok account that commented on my channel? If you think that's a little bit weird, guys, watch this next translation in his videos. Today, I thought of making a test to see if anyone was around. My plan was to make a box with stuff inside and leave it on a tree branch. Hopefully someone sees this. Now, the admin of this account has included another, yet another, coding in this video however guys this is where things get very very interesting purely because the translation leads to top paranormal i'm watching yes that is my channel because i created a video on it last week he has seen this video on youtube he or she the creator of this account whomever it is the admin has come to my video and has coded in a video on his own tiktok after I posted my YouTube video saying top paranormal watching. And it's very interesting to see all of the people in the comment section saying, what's the coding translate to? And they're all very confused about why he has coded top paranormal when watching in his video title. Bear in mind, hundreds of thousands of people have seen this video. So next time, put my, put my link in the channel and then that would be much better. Maybe people can be led to this channel as well. I find it incredible that this admin has been watching my video and has included a coding link to my channel name on his page for people to try and decode themselves and figure out what's going on. So shout out to you for including my YouTube channel name in your coding and I hope people come across from that and check out my videos. However, this is not the only mention I've had from another creator. We are gonna rewind time all the way back to a video that I made about an account called Knitted Sun. And this is about a sun that has been sewn in the form of a puppet by his mother and I've been mentioned in a video of hers up on her channel so let's check that out right now. Today's video is going to be about a channel called Knitted Sun that I found on TikTok. I'm talking about the TikTok account Knitted Sun. 
Okay, so this account is now trying to create a movie in the style of this ARG that was created on TikTok. They're raising funds for it currently, it's in the process. They've built up an attractive audience on their account. They're really trying to push for filming to begin in 2022 to create a movie that could be coming to a cinema near you. So if that does go through, and that'll be exciting for them and for all you guys to watch as well. So shout out to the Knitted Sun account, Knit Whitson. Well done for doing what you've done on your ARG. I've really enjoyed the series. I haven't been following too many of your updates recently just because I've been covering different content, but I appreciated the shout out very much. And I wish you all the success with your filmmaking in the future. And hopefully if it does go well to plan, then I will come and watch the premiere of it. So the final account we're going to touch on today is an account called Lord Ver, to which a fair few of you, I'd say a good handful of you, that have subscribed to me recently have come from this video because this is the video that's done best on the channel so far so thank you for coming across and subscribing if this video did jump out at you on youtube but we have two clips today to discuss briefly on this topic there are no mentions of my name in these videos however there are a few little updates that we can talk about in this video that i can touch on to keep you updated with what's going on with this tiktok account so let's talk about it there's only a couple of videos he's posted recently to do with the snow figures that we discussed in my separate video that I made in the channel. Nothing has obviously happened to him over the last few weeks. What I'm gonna do is run the videos, you can check them out and then I'll talk about them after. Okay, cool, but why don't I remember taking this video? Honestly scared to watch the second half, let alone post it. So with this first clip, someone did actually mention in my notifications on the video that I made separately about this account that he had in fact forgotten what he was doing and forgotten that he'd filmed these videos and posted them. But that is a good theory to have as this caption of the video that we just saw did say he didn't remember filming that clip. So valid reason for a theory on the account but um, there wasn't really too much about that clip that I could analyse. It's strange because there hasn't been too many updates about this channel at all since I made the video, which is kind of sad, but at the same time, I would rather have to wait a longer period of time and actually get some good quality content to analyse than just throw away filler footage that's no good to anyone. And then obviously with this last clip, his dog is barking at the top of the stairs, facing towards the bottom of the stairs. There's no real discovery with anything to do with these snow figures, just because of a dog barking at the top of the stairs. It could be a little bit eerie, it probably adds to the tension of the series. But nonetheless, there have been people commenting on his recent videos that have nothing to do with any of the figures, just because that's what his channel's revolved around, now that's the audience he's built, saying, I think he isn't okay and is actually being forced to make this. And Lord Ver himself, the creator, has replied, life is good. After capturing the video, life is good. So it's almost as if it's like he has been forced to make these videos because whoever was stalking him with the 1F, 1M, as you would have seen in the last video that I created on this, he may have gone into his house and, and captured him, if you like. That could be where this is heading now. He could be posting normal videos to try and distract everyone from thinking he's okay when really he's making it awkward on the video and everyone's actually starting to believe that he has been captured. It's a very far-fetched theory, but it could be one that he is trying to create on his channel. So anyway, everyone, what's been your favorite series that I've made on the channel so far? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you have any recommendations for me to follow and record slash analyze the breakdown on here, please drop them down below in the comment section. I know a few of you have, and I really appreciate anyone who links any channel names in my notifications if it's good and has plenty of talk about it then i definitely will analyze it and make a video upon that however if you are new here please do subscribe hit the like button if you haven't already and i appreciate you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed the content i will see you in the next video very soon take care and have a good day